Okay guys, I'm here for the panel for for the cast of Power Rangers Time Force. What? It's it'll be starting any minute. There's some shouting in the other next room. I swear. So when it comes to these panels, it's always a party. <laughs> By the way, do I sound good, Frank? Yep. Do I look good? Oh yes. <laughs> That's a dope cosplay, by the way. I want to stand up so they can see it. Give some noise for Lucas. Very tiny. Black Dino, stand up. Hey, stand up. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. 
probably get my helmet. Mine's bigger and blue, always. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> let's do it, let's go. All right, so I know a lot of you guys are gonna have questions, so all I'd like you to do is line up by the microphone over here. Thank you all so much for being here. We love each and every one of you so freaking much. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get a picture together. We just really love this, so it'd be cool to get a good shot and all that. Okay. Are, you, are you guys having fun? Are you guys enjoying yourselves? Yeah. Okay, you have to think about this. They're all superheroes, and not one of the dumbasses can remember to bring their helmet. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? Hey, look at this line! We won last night. That's right, guys! Power Rangers Instagram page did a poll. Yeah. 
Yay. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you would go to do a take in a scene and you'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like, for me, I always think of the movie cushion. What about you guys? No? Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what, what was the question? Like, like, what's, like, what's, what's like your funniest memory? I got a good picture of one of them. I know, I've got it. Jason, Jason found a cucumber on the set one day. <laughs> and uh, he called me over to him and showed me his new jeans. <laughs> Somehow the cucumber was missing. Can I clarify how it was missing? That means it's true. Yeah, actually. I saw it in the lining of his jeans. <laughs> now this <laughs> came around the set in our box and that was really cool. We, we were coming around the corner and we had to stand up all serious and we, like, we came out just our box of shorts in the Universal Studio. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Or sometimes we even meet, they want us coming around the corner posing heroically and we run out holding hands. Yeah. But, but guys can't hold hands. We run out the red and blue Power Rangers so we skip around the corner holding hands and then we take so. Yeah. That was a great question, honey. Thank you. All right, thank you, guys. How you doing? What's your name? Where are you from? What's up, man? Uh, I'm Zach. Doing from Michigan. What's your question, man? Uh, so, as you know, everyone stated already, one of the best, if not the best, season of Power Rangers. It's amazing. The tone of it was just amazing. So, I guess my main question is, if you had watched any other seasons. Or knowing it's a kid's show going in, but the first episode starts with Mr. Wells here murdering a ranger. Could you tell the tone was different for this season than other shows? Was there advice from the showrunners that they going in saying, hey, this is a kid's show, but we're going to take it in this more adult direction with relationships blossoming and characters getting developed? I mean, it, it was a staple for all the other seasons afterwards. Back to the so I, just, I just want to know the feel of the set. Did you guys know that going in that it was going to be different? Question yeah. for anyone? Yeah, anybody can answer. Yeah, we did. We, we knew we knew going in that uh, they had they really wanted to elevate it, and so we were told. I mean, yeah, we were told go ahead and cry, like angry, like go for it. We want this to be really moving really piece. So the first episode, I was like sobbing over Jason Bond. Yeah. Like literally, you guys, there was still where I was crying so hard there was just like snot <laughs> <laughs> so close to his face. <laughs> you know, like a spider dangles down. And <laughs> I'm supposedly dying, and I see this, this, this <laughs> screen just up there. You guys can see it in the episode. If you just pause, it's a little snot bubble that pops out. Of the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, they're really, you have a little snot bubble that goes, you're breathing and you go, and it snaps back in. It's like really quick. Just pause it, guys, and then, and then make a meme out of it. No, guys, don't do that. <laughs> call, it, call, it, call, it, call it Aaron's jelly. Michael, wow. <laughs> Aaron's, Aaron's peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> but yes, it was definitely um, a shift with that. I mean, I feel like we were one of the only seasons where we weren't teenagers. We were young adults, police officers from the future. So yeah, we were aware that this was definitely a different situation. Yeah, something was going on there. Yeah, it's a right up in the LA Times. Yeah. yeah. It, it, what was pretty cool is that what, what my understanding when they auditioned the original cast for Mighty Morphin a lot of seasons, the audition consisted of you've got 30 seconds, kick and flip and let's see your moves. Our scenes were all six page, a you know, six page audition. Um, and that's why they brought in people like Vernon Wells and Edward Albert, we, you know, we had guys that had been on set for, for huge movies that really helped guide us. Uh, but they really wanted to take the characters into places and the arcs between me and Dan and me and Aaron and us and, you know, everything that went on. It really had to stretch your wings at you. I still have the audition on VHS, so if anyone, yeah, wants, to, if anyone wants to help me convert it to DVD, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> but I would love to put that out on, uh, on okay. YouTube or something, because I literally have the actual auditions from all of us um, when we auditioned for Power Rangers that no one's ever seen in history, but I've held on to that VHS for 20, some, some 21 years now. But, um, yeah, I would say too, like during that year, Matrix was such a big revolution movie, like and I felt like Time Force kind of followed that. <clears throat> so like, I knew it was gonna be different because there was such a big, different shift, with, even with that Matrix film. Uh, it, it changed it changed the way you know, independent filmmaking and sci-fi was uh, filming at the time. So then we, we kind of like paralleled that. So I thought that was kind of cool that our show, yeah, 
we had like some matrix moments, like you know, with, where the mic was always like slow motion, the camera would tilt. So I knew we were going to be a different season when I saw the opening trailer, and um, so yeah, I definitely was excited for it. Hey, hey guys, real quick, um, I want to have two people come on stage. Uh, Chip Lynn, Iris, come up. These people. <laughs>
love you, Michael. And I didn't have to live in my car. I had my first apartment. <laughs> my first apartment with Debbie. It was the most amazing thing. It was my first time living in an apartment with Debbie. And it was with Debbie. It was so awesome. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> What's the question? Name it, where are you from, sir? Hey guys, my name is George from Orange County, California. I just want to say it's an honor to be on you guys. Thank you very much so much for all coming. You, you're, every, every Rangers are here, guys. This is amazing. Thank you. So my question is, they can answer this. Uh, what are exciting hobbies do you guys have other than acting and, um, or martial arts? That you guys, that we don't know that you guys do, um, that you guys like to share with us. Like for example, I love karaoke. I'm sure Mike and I can relate to that. Every Filipino loves karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I just had my first child, so my son's turning one in three days. Every day with him since uh, January. I uh, just was working on this film. I just got done directing in the Philippines. So it's amazing to be able to sit at home and be a full time dad while my mom's a full time mom. I mean, my wife is a full time mom. <laughs> um, but together we can be full time parents, and that was really like my best hobby is just waking up every day and spending every day with my, my wife and, and my son. So that's been my hobby. That's been awesome. My life. My name's Aaron, I'm from Fresno, California. And I actually just have a request. Uh, I, I did talk to the Blue Ranger yesterday, and we talked a little bit about time traveling, but I know during the time travel, he went to another land, and so with that in mind, I, was ask, I wanted to ask to see if I could test your teamwork and see if you could say hi to my hometown in my language, which is Nyajong. And if you guys can do it together collectively, and my wife will record that. Are you guys can say Nya Jong. Nya Jong. From South California. And can you guys do that on count of three? Yeah, yeah. As a what, team. What language is that? Mong. Nya Jong. Nya Jong. Nya Jong. Nya Jong. We all going to say it together. You want to give us a count? Yeah, so I'll give a count on three. So like, Nya Jong. Is it? So Nya Jong, Fresno, California. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, um, Jason. I noticed that if we said that word together, our, our lips kind of hurt. <laughs> 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 <Just like you>. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty interesting. I'm just saying. I noticed. <laughs> I think I noticed that. Before we get to the next question, I will have to ask because it is a lot of people in mind. And to get to all of you, I will ask you maybe ask a question or maybe a ranger or two. But next question, name, where are you from? My name's Brian, I'm from Stillmar, California. Give it up. Trying to figure out who'd be the most honest about this one, and I think it'd be Dan. <laughs> I'm either going to get aided for this or everybody's going Every group friend has the one they don't want in the group fit. Who is it? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, who's the question two? <laughs> I think it was for Dan. Me? Okay. Well, if you're going to be hated, let me tell you, welcome to the, welcome to the club. <laughs> Being hated ain't such a bad thing. What's the question? What's the question now? Oh, what every friend has to say again? Every group of friends has the one person they don't want in the group chat. Who they don't want in the group chat. Right. Oh, that's absolutely me. <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing because I'm never in any in, in group chats. <laughs> it's funny when you ask that, I think, oh, damn. Thanks for your question. Hello everyone, my name is Roberto Morales, and uh, AK Ranger Mania, I don't know if you guys know me. But uh, I'm from Miami, Florida. Give it up. Um, I just want to say, I'm sorry, I'm like super nervous, because this is my first time at a convention. In a you and me both. Yeah. Um, time Force is one of the greatest seasons of all time. I know you guys heard that like a million times today, probably in the past 20 years or whatever, but I think Time Force is Power Rangers at its best. And if it kept doing that, I think that Power Rangers would be receiving that better than it is. But anyways, besides that, uh, my Amen. question is... Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, keep going. My question is, uh, Power Rangers receives, uh, Time Force receives so well as a season that there are rumors of like a movie or a second season. Is there anything that you guys can say in regards to that? Or that you proceed to that? <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk with you. I think your chip would be the one to answer that. All of our heads turned to chip. Like... What do you think, Chip? Turn the mic on. Okay, this one works. This one works. What he said was, 
I'll translate, is that they've been currently speaking with me about reproducing a new season of Time for Nothing. Breaking news. And uh, you might see it in the future on Netflix. That's what I mean. I think you can see there's some magic up here, and another season might just be in order. <laughs> This is going to be a season and a special something, and I'm pretty sure the fans want that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe if you create a big enough buzz about it, then it'll actually happen. Yeah. So, we'll well, that's an all protest in front of Hasbro. So let's do yeah. it. Yeah. With the same budget they had on the new Power Ranger movie, that's what we want. <laughs> but anyways, uh, thank you so much. You thank know. you for your question. Thank I'll you see you so guys. much, honey. Chip never said anything, by the way. <laughs> name, where are you from? My name is Maui. I'm originally from um, Anchorage, Alaska, and then I recently moved to Las Vegas, Nevada. Second one, we're like, it's kind of like a bittersweet moment, so we're like passing off the torch and, and telling them what to, you know, uh, expect and, and, and wishing them the best. And so it's kind of like a bittersweet moment. So the core moments is that it's like you're, you're passing off the baton to like your next younger brother and sister so they can enjoy that moment for a year. But it's so bittersweet because we, of course, wanted to keep doing our season two. So it's kind of, I think that's the real core moment. It's like, it's like life. Things, end, things sometimes have to end in order for us to grow. Uh, in a different way, so that's kind of like the realization I had to have as a young man. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. What's going on, guys? Uh, Miguel from San Francisco, Bay Area. Yeah. Uh, so, I would just like to know, like, obviously, like. The main script gives you guys a blueprint of all your characters, but what did you guys bring personally? Like, how much of your own personalities is in each of your roles? Like, what's actually you in each of your characters? Good question. I really liked women. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. Just like my character. <laughs> So, pretty much has Virgil's always on the constant quest for power. 
power, how do you think he would react if he somehow managed to get his mitts on that quantum power? Virgil? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The four horsemen of the apocalypse can go home. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you. Hey guys, uh, my name is Jonathan, and I'm from New York. So my question is for uh, Jason. Um, what would you say is a big motivator for you that keeps you going every day, every night, 24-7, especially during this rough time and this harsh period? So what is it that keeps you going no matter what? You're saying what keeps me going personally? Me. <laughs> I just want to make sure I see Dan every chance I can. <laughs> I don't know. I think you you know, in terms of pursuing goals or, you know, it's, it's you know, you have to have, you know, passion in you and then drive to whatever it is you're trying to achieve in life, right, personally, professionally, is you just have to have drive to keep going. Believe it in yourself. I mean, in, in patience. Things take time. I mean, uh, it's something I always try to uh, impress on the younger generation is that we're, we're in such a get-it-now society where we can order food, we can order this, everything's there, that, you know, goals and dreams take a long time and you have to be persistent and patient with all that stuff. So find what your passion is and, and, and work at it every day, and, but you're gonna have to have that inner drive. I have that, and that's in you. Um, and so similar to a lot of the characters that you saw in the last, it's very similar to YM, pretty typical as a young actor. Um, but, but yeah, find your drivers and just keep going. Um, and you'll, you'll get there, you'll get there. Thanks, Jason. Thank you for the My name is Tierra Shea, and I'm from San Luis Obispo, California. My question is for the ladies. Um, so, Time Force is one of my favorites because it's kind of the first time you see the women in more of an undisputed leadership role. And so, I wanted to know what was that like, you guys reading that in the script and being like, oh, this is different. And like, we have you holding it down as like this emotional rock. We have you just feel prepared. Um, yeah, what was that like? And uh, feeling the added pressure, like being in this unprecedented story. No, I love this question. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so I know. I don't think. I mean, I don't want to speak for you, Jess, but I don't. I personally didn't know what an impact this show was going to have. I was just. I just wanted to act and things that. Got the chance to do it and like really show we got to tell great stories. Um, but it's yeah, 20 years later, and I want you to talk about this too. But girls come up and they're like, I went to college because of you, or I you know, I'm the first person in my family to do this because of you, and that every time literally touches my heart. And, and I'm just so grateful. It's, it's who, who would have known? So I didn't know then. I'm glad I didn't know what the big deal it was. I would have felt so, so pressure, but instead, I was like. Still to this day, but like, what's the best you know experience you've ever had? And it's this family. Twenty years later, however, whatever projects later. I'm almost thirty years old. That's true. That's a good question. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, like we had a female leader. I had the super huge strength. It was like it was incredible to be able to represent that. So, and I'm glad it left an impact. To begin, like Aaron said, like who would have thought? We were just having fun loving on each other, I think the genuine chemistry we all had together, we weren't thinking about all of that, but I'm so glad, like when we come here to see you guys, oh, and, and it's like, I have lived for this, I mean, I know I'm not out there scrolling, I don't know what's going on, how are y'all doing, because I don't know what's going on yeah, out there, but I'm telling you, this, you know, just here, thank you, thank you, just the time that you guys are taking, and it, it's an honor and a pleasure, and I, I would, like, I'm so grateful to have worked alongside this amazing, amazing oh Aaron, oh, this is my sister, don't, <laughs> don't, oh, teamwork, it's always and forever, so 
I'm glad that we were able to do that for you all. Yeah. Thank you.
the years is that oh, so many amazing like fans create, recreate things that I never thought I would ever see again. So you guys are amazing once again. It's just yeah, you got I got nothing. That's fun. <laughs> You want me to say something? Oh, I'm sorry, Deborah. I didn't know you were so sorry. Me? I have nothing to say. I'm taking the third. <laughs> or the fifth, or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> I'm taking it. You're not in Australia. They stole our hearts. Does that count? Yeah! <laughs> you want me to say something, sir? Well, yeah, I just. Yeah, I just want to point out that. I, I thought you were going to say your Q-Rex would eat the dragon's word for lunch. Well, that's true. We know that's true. <laughs> oh, I remember when you said that. At the wardrobe sale at the end of the year, I bought the Red Ranger shirt that Austin St. John wears in that episode with the big red star, and I wore it around for weekends on end. <laughs> By myself in my house. <laughs> and I would put Risky Business on. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Thank you from California. 
This question is for Deborah to sell Phillips. Um, on the show, you have incredible strength. You're constantly picking up cars and couches and heavy boxes. So my question for you is, what is your favorite Disney movie? <laughs> <laughs> what the? Oh gosh, that's a good one. Um, okay, well, first of all, I take a shout out to these three. Uh, yes, I'm putting you all in my the universe. They have, um, they're, they're wearing uh, a, this Team Katie with these amazing, like, there's a, there's a whole crew here with, with Team Katie. And, uh, oh and, uh, my so god! Oh my gosh, representing and walking it out. And um, I'm, as, as I'm doing this, I'm trying to really think of it. So. I love the Disney movies. Um, Movie, right? Isn't it? Okay, that, that's like the latest and the greatest of all of them. And um, I, I don't know, like Encanto, um, my son, which is, he's in the house. With Elijah, are you here? My little big baby? Hi, baby! And my husband, Steven! Hi! We're always watching our Disney movies, and, and, and yes, that happens to be, you know, Bruno, that song. Yeah, that's one of my jams right now. The Bell Room, you know it, right? I, Can you sing it for us, please, and dance on the table? <laughs> yeah. We heard you could sing. We heard you could sing. We saw that. Feel the music. Wait, wait, I, I missed that one. We heard you could sing a few panels. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, she's a really great singer. Only if you guys do it with me. Can we Maybe you can sing. Yeah, why don't you do that? Wait, how does it go? It was my wedding day.